All right, so in our quest to determine what is the ultimate zombie rifle, well, I had built this one right here. It's 22, a Ruger 10 22. Um, I ran the challenge. I did it in three minutes, 48 seconds, but unfortunately all the footage is void because I forgot to correct up for 100 yards. So all my shots are like, what is it? Four MOA too low. I mean, they were all nice and grouped, and if they would have been moved up, they would have been on the head, but still, that doesn't count. I need to rerun this. Plus, the reason that was really slowing me down is I was running brick ammo, and I know that ammo doesn't run if it gets below 60 degrees. It just doesn't. I bought some higher pressure ammo, so I got to try this out and see if this is higher pressure, high pressure enough to run in the colder temperatures. If that's the case, then I'll get a accurate feel for this, but the magazine changes and malfunctions, what is what was really killing me because it's a rock and lock. So then I re-ran it with a rifle I don't have down here, but there was a lot going on at the range and instead of hitting record, I had hit stop recording because I had already had started recording. I forgot that I started recording, so all that footage was gone. That I ran blazing fast. Like that was cruising, but I had a pile of misses. The misses alone, it was 100 seconds. So don't know how well that did. So again, what we're trying to determine, what is the best for zombie apocalypse? Are we looking at a 22 long rifle because of how lightweight the ammunition is and how low a recoil it is because you can just hammer out shots? Or are we looking at more like an AR-15 because they're more reliable and malfunctions just kill you? So the first guy submitted, he ran his 22 long rifle at four minutes, 43 seconds. Not too bad. That's with penalties and everything. And then he ran his 5.56 at 3 minutes 48 seconds, which matched my 22, so I no longer think that a 22 has an advantage over 5.56, simply by just not having malfunctions, because his 22 time was so slow because of the malfunctions he had. So just eliminating the malfunctions, he ran it almost a full minute faster. So I believe if that holds true for me, when I ran my 5.56, I ran it at 2 minutes and 48 seconds, but with the penalties, that would have put me up to like... Damn near four minutes, because I missed a bunch, because it was open sights, and while an AR-15 gets hot and I had smoke rolling in front of my front, so it, it was rough. The point is, we're still trying to determine that. So, I had another submission. We'll check out his footage right now. All right, so he had a couple of malfunctions, but dude, he shot it really good. I mean, really, really good. So one, he ran 405. He missed once. That's impressive. One miss. So with a one miss, that's a penalty time of two seconds. 407, not bad at all. The next one, he ran a lot faster. He went 350. So he shaved off, what, 15 seconds, but he had 21 misses? Dude, he had a hell of a win. Like, it was like damn near tearing the paper off of the backboard. So I don't blame him for having a bunch of misses. He ran that in 430. Now, the reason he's running it so much longer is because he doesn't have four 25-round magazines, so he's having to do several magazine changes. So, yeah, definitely magazine changes is what kills you. Ideally, you'd run like a drum mag or something like that, but that's not allowed in this particular challenge because I want the magazine changes in there because it just feels more realistic to have a bunch of these mags because they would be like in your back pocket and stuff. Pop them in and go. Same with like an AR-15 mag. I just don't think a drum mag is practical. 
yeah, if you knew you were in a fixed position, that would start to make kind of sense, but I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more practical. And I think something set up like this with a standard magazine so this rifle's still nice and light, and you could like walk through a house, is a lot more practical than having this big-ass drum magazine on there, or like with an AR-15 with like a 100-round drum. That's just not practical. Maybe I'll do another competition where it's open and you can run a drum, but I don't think so. Because I think these style of magazines, like your standard capacity mags, is what's most realistic for this type of challenge. So, where are you at, 22 Long Rifle guys? I know you argue constantly that a 22 Long Rifle is the best zombie rifle, and yeah, it makes sense because the ammunition is so much lighter. But is it really worth it having the malfunctions? And that's what we're trying to test here. So all your 22 long rifle guys, get out there and prove, prove the 556 five, guys wrong. The AR-15 is not the superior rifle, 22 long rifle is. Go out there, do your test, win the fastest time. And if you win, I mean, hell, you can pick between two prizes, either a 300 PRC proof barrel or a comp M5 aim point. Anyway, if you'd like to help support the channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Definitely don't forget to check out his channel. He's trying to grow a channel, and he's got one hell of a sick-ass 22, too. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.